Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have a different uh, video for you. Every 4th of July, uh, we have a tradition where my brothers and I all get together and my really good friend David, and we get together and we have a big medieval feast and uh, we play Dungeons and Dragons the whole weekend. All of us have a love of Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, movies like that. And so we, we've been doing this for five years now. This was our fifth annual medieval feast. And um, it's just a fun time for us to eat a lot of really good food. And uh, also my brother will uh, decorate the room like really, really nice with all kinds of cool medieval style decorations from different costumes and things and different props that he has. And so the, the space just looks really, really awesome. And it's just a fun time where we play Dungeons and Dragons and then we have this big medieval feast and it's just a lot of fun. And so I wanted to share that with you um, because there's a lot of cool food that I will show um, in, a, in a second here. And also you get to know a little bit more, a little bit more about me, a little bit of my nerdy side. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy the video. like human soldiers, about 20 of them, with chainmail, helmets, halberds, spears, swords, and shields. They have formed a line across the bridge and are trying to keep an orc raiding party at bay. Behind them you see about 10 fallen soldiers. There's only three on there right now. About 10 soldiers are split between two towers and they are launching arrows at the orcs. The two towers. There appear to be about 60 orcs. One of the orcs blows a horn. <laughs> and from the northwest you see another 15 orcs with three ogres running to join the fray. Ah. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. so that's, which direction is north on this map? North is this way. North is this way. You guys are coming from this side. Oh. oh so we're yeah, over there. You're right? like over here right now. Yes. Okay, so we, so you're still pretty far away from this. Ox. And this is a oh, huge, ogres. this is like, it's like 150 feet across. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes down like several feet that way. They've uh, messed the river down below. Mm -hmm. So on that map... So how deep is it to the river? On this is map, it, it's distance? like 40, 50 feet down there. So it's not fatal. Oh, so yeah. this is like a canyon. It's not a fatal. So yeah, on this map, you're right, that's right where this is. Yeah, you can see like the cliffs. Oh, the river. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay, this yeah. is supposed to go down. My drawing mm -hmm. skills are deep. Is, how deep is the water? Can 40 you can't feet. really tell. Can't really tell how deep the water yeah, is, it, no. but, but there's, rocks. there's rocks and stuff there. Yeah. You hear... The soldiers, you hear one of them like, Hold the line! Hold the line! And you hear someone from the middle, you can't really know, you can't really see who it is, somewhere in the middle, and he's yelling, in common, Death to the humans! Break the line! Death to the humans! Break the line! Arendelle and Saria. Alright, here's our guys. And he looks at the rest of you like, Back me up. And he is going to unleash Cone of Cold. So, you see, you watch Mitten, and he goes, <laughs> this Cone of Cold goes, Shh. and as he's hearing it, some of you guys kind of look around and look, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they see like the whole back half pretty much either frozen or something. They're like, ah! 
<laughs> All right, so as a, as my bonus action, I will cast Misty Step. And I'm like, ah, I'm going back over here. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Like, and I look at the other guys and like, you're up. Wait, save some for me! Save some for me! <laughs> I know, right? That's Torm. Yeah, darn magic user. Casts Shatter, has a 60 foot range, and has a 10 foot radius, so basically four squares like that. 10 foot radius. This is 12 bets. Pretty good. It's about so right. So those five? Should affect those five. Those five, yep. Yeah. Cast that at level three. videotaping our doom. So there's a little look at our medieval feast and Dungeon Dragons weekend that we had over the 4th of July. It was a lot of fun and uh, the food was fantastic. Of several of those dishes that we have on that table, I do have videos for them um, on how to make them, like the Proven Cow potatoes. I have the bacon wrapped uh, tri-tip steak, uh, the grilled vegetables. We just did those on the on a skewer on the um, on the grill, and then the bread. I did a I have a video for the rolls, the no need rolls, and then also the the rustic looking bread. I have a video on that on how I did that in in the Dutch oven. Um, so just really 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 fun weekend. A lot of great food. And just uh, good times. And of course, the <laughs> forgot to mention the um, apple crumble pie that was on there. We didn't have a whole lot of time for treats, so a lot of those pastries were, were store-bought, but uh, there you go. So there's a little insight into some of my hobbies and the type of food that we eat uh, over 4th of July weekend. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, my name is Matt Taylor. This has uh, been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care, everyone.